Digging deep, baby. We back. (laughs) 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 The way you did that was just... (laughs) (laughs) Well... (laughs) Have you ever been in a threesome? I found him so far. I'm gonna make him laugh. This guy's only fans. Now to Matt, here we go. He's sexy, not this hiccup, but you know what I mean? I love it. We're talking about health, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ironically speaking, because we just like took a shot of whatever. Put that to the side. Yeah, yeah, put that away. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fucking. We're literally 12 hours away from a new year, right? Um, and that's a time when people start to um, think about their health and become more health conscious because of all these, uh, you know, New Year's resolutions and stuff like that. So obviously we got the guest here today. Uh, he's probably going to be a regular here anyways, the Hood Encyclopedia. And we got a lot to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. Um, fuck, I don't even know where to start here. Let's talk about... Uh... First of all, New Year's resolutions. <laughs> yeah. Fucking resolutions, because we're on that shit all year, day in and day out. I don't want no, I'm away for January 1st, this, that. If you're already saying that, that means you're, I don't even think you already have it in you right now to even, if you're already delaying it, pushing it there. Yeah. Because I remember when I was going through this health shit, I'm like, yo, I just reached a point, I'm like, fuck, change is now. You know, yeah. like, I want to do this now. And I remember, you know, contacting you, this, that. Yeah. We started training, coaching, and that's it. I never looked back. Pretty much, man. Woo! <laughs> But the thing is, it's like, it's kind of weird this time around because like now gyms are closed until like, I was actually thinking this and I, I posted this on Twitter, um, which I actually have. Follow me on Twitter, South Van Arnie Vic, I think it is. Um, but yeah, I was like, uh, what did I say? Oh yeah, gyms are closed until January 18th. Does that mean you're going to hold off your fitness goals until then? Yeah. Like that's the real question. You know Screw what I mean? Screw you Like obviously with all these restrictions, this, this and that and like, it's going to hold people off from like actually wanting to start, get the ball rolling, this, this, and that. Because I hear it all the time, you know what I mean? People are always like, oh, I got to find the right time, this and that. I got to find the right time, you know what I mean? But in the end of the day, time is ticking. Yeah. Time is ticking, fam. You don't... Time is now. Yeah, exactly. The time is now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't got to necessarily, like, uh, there are other avenues of fitness and health other than just going to the gym, you know what I mean? There's nutrition. Um, sleep recovery everything just your whole total lifestyle i mean it, yeah. we have a bottle of henny right here but like you know like that's just for balance balance <laughs> 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 just to loosen us up you know because we haven't done this in a bit but um there's random shit that we want to talk about here let's uh i don't know let's, i guess we get we get, let's start the, get the ball rolling and just start off with uh shoot away shoot away shoot away it's supplements oh god supplements Let's start with that. Okay, they, I don't know. I guess it gets deep. Like, there's obviously, like, the main ones. People always have, like... Okay, like, I guess one of the staple main something, protein powder, right? Yeah. So, like that. Like, then creatine. Yeah. For most... Most or all people? Creatine We're, we're going to take it too, right? Yeah, a lot of people. You don't got to fucking be, be on creatine, like, year-round and shit like that. But I actually just started taking creatine uh, this year. I used to fuck around with... With it back in like I'm talking about it like it's fucking steroids, but it's not. Um, back in um, what do you call it? High school. High school. Fucking That's something everyone hears about creatine. Yeah. Because you're trying, you you buy protein powder, and everyone's like, take creatine, take creatine, you're gonna get fucking swole. Yo, so th- th- listen to this story. This is fucking hilarious. So back in grade eight, we went to Metro Town. This was when we were like, you know, like little fucking, you know, like little shitheads. You know what I mean? So we skipped school one time. Me and three buddies, um, we went to Metro Town. And then this is when we like all wanted to get jacked. Like we started wanting, we wanted to get jacked. Like we went to Metro Town, right? We went to the supplement store. We asked the dude, we're like, yo, like what's the best supplement that'll get us jacked the fastest and quickest and this, this and that, obviously. Cause when you're younger, you just want fast and right now, right? So then he's like, yeah, creatine, this, yeah. this and that. And we're like, whoa, what's this creatine <laughs> shit all about? So he showed us this bottle of creatine, right? It's like, this is what you guys need. I'm like, all right, so how do we do this? Like, is it just, it's just a straight powder, right? Like, does it taste like anything? Does it taste like juice? He's like, no, so you wanna take it with a sugary drink? Mm. Um, yeah, you wanna take it with a sugary drink? Um, Cause it speeds up uh, digestion or some shit like mm. that. I don't know what the fuck he said exactly. Um, but yeah, he's like, so like, he suggested grape juice. So we seen the bottle, none of us had money for it, right? Yeah. We're like, fuck, I don't know if we have money Kids, for this, yeah. right? Kids, right? We look at it, we're like, okay, cool. 
We walk out. Next thing you know, Buddy whips out his fucking bag. Jack the bottle of creatine <laughs> right on the spot. Yo. The day you learned about it? Right there, right there. He's like, yo, we're gonna, we gotta start this today. Oh shit, sorry, dude. Yeah, so we, we gotta start this today, man. You know, like we're trying to get Jack before everybody else, but this, this, and that, right? He was so hyped about it. So we, we went to go get, uh, I think it was Coke or some shit, because we, we, we tried to look for the most sugary drink, right? Because that's what the that's dude the said. It's idea. like, you know, when you're younger, you listen to anything, you know, right? You took it as like some crazy. Yeah, thing. so we yeah we went, we went to get coke because it was so sugary, right? We went to the washroom, bro. This was a fucking nut. We went to the washroom, and next thing you know, we're pouring it in like this, like just like straight, like multiple, like it turned into like a thick. It was a thick fucking coke. It was like a smoothie at that point. It tasted like chalk, like like oh man, it tasted like Coca Cola chalk. And, That's hilarious. Yeah, it's going off. Slammed it right. And then we snuck into Bonzer, which was like, which is pretty much across the street. Just started pumping weights and shit like that. And that was like the first time I ever tried creatine. I, did, that was, I only did that, that one time. Damn. I didn't even like, you're supposed to be on it. You're supposed to take yeah, creatine for a bit consistently, right? Yeah, you're supposed to load it five grams a day, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was one of those things where you kind of just like sip it and you're just like, all right, let's fucking do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? You I know, think we all go through that stuff, man. Like, yeah. I remember when I was young, I, I would take the Purple K Crealkaline. Crealkaline. Cre yeah. And I thought that was so crazy. And I so was buying that. Actually, no, yeah. Sorry, I lied. I guess I was buying that for a bit oh, after that. Because I didn't want to take the powder form, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought like pills were just way easier. I wasn't down to taste like that fucking. Yeah. But it's a totally different substance. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. And all the studies are done on creatine monohydrate. Exactly. There's not yeah. much on, now, that I, now that I think of it. like In depth like multiple different kinds of studies on no yeah it's exactly more just the sales team get their studies done for themselves and then yeah pump that but basically where i'm going with this is that like not like we're getting into a time where people are like really considering health especially now with all this i can't even, we can't even say the word but you know what i'm trying to say here the, the c times. word this this and that you know people are more conscious about their uh, their health and shit like that right yeah but in the end of the day, people still want it fast. You know what I mean? Yeah. People want it instant, instant all the Always. time. Like I, you know, like I get it all the time with clients. Like, okay, like, what's the best exercise to lose body fat? What's the like, you know, like what's the best supplement? What's, what what should I supplement in order to gain muscle? Like, dude, it's not like it's not like a day and night thing yeah. where you just take it and then boom, like you expect you got to like actually like be consistent with like certain supplements, this, this, and that, and like. Yeah, like that's why like after I took that creatine and shit like that, I started to really like, cause I was a, I was a broke student, I wasn't like, it's not like I was working. I had to like really figure out, okay, like how much should I spend on the supplements? So like yeah. from like grade, I don't want to say grade 12, cause I was blowing my freaking paychecks. I remember I was working at McDonald's, I was blowing paychecks like crazy on like supplements for like two, three years. And then obviously like in those two, three years, I didn't really see a crazy, um, as much as you expected. As much as I expected. But then again, like, like just like everybody else, I was like, comparing myself to like people on juice and shit mm -hmm. like that. You know, like I was comparing myself to Jay Cutler for fuck's sakes. Yeah. You know, yeah. like I had him as my background. I was comparing myself to like Kai Green. I was expecting like to take this creatine and be as big as that. Yeah. But like, you know, unrealistic. I it was. It isn't. It's un. It's super unrealistic. And I didn't realize that until I hit like grade twelve. So from grade twelve to pretty much two years ago, fuck. That's like mad years, I don't even know, mm -hmm. 10 years or some shit. I was just like super like skeptical about supplements. I was like, ah, it's all a waste, you know what I mean? Like what, what's it really gonna do, this, this and that, yada, yada, yada. Until I took, until I competed and I took creatine properly this year. Mm -hmm. And I actually saw like solid changes, you Power know what I mean? Power and stuff? Pa like strength, like I was able to train longer and intense. Um, I didn't notice it. But other people noticed it that I looked more, like my muscle, like I just looked more fuller in general. Yeah, you know, my muscle bellies looked fuller. Mm -hmm. But I definitely felt the strength and like the strength, like even the, a little bit of re recovery. Cause I was like training like a motherfucker, you know what I mean? Yeah, at the time. Yeah, at the, at the time, yeah. Like not right now, right? But like at the time when I was like, which wasn't even that long ago. Like <laughs> a couple months, not even a month. <laughs> dude, I was on, <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> but the thing is like, I didn't know exactly what. I don't know if it was a creatine. I don't know if it was a glutamine. Cause then, like, when I was competing, you supplementing with glutamine? yeah, I was like supplementing with a bunch of shit, dude. That was like the most shit I've ever supplemented in my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wanted to do. I wanted. I just took it, anything aside from PEDs, obviously. Um, 
which is like I don't know. I have nothing against people that take PEDs, right? But like, obviously, like for my first show, I'm not gonna go in and just, sh- you know, <laughs> send it, right? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, I notice a lot of people that use PEDs, like they don't even reach the level they need to before they start taking the PEDs, kind of thing. Like yeah. they just start taking it before they're ready or before their body even needs to. They haven't even reached their plateau or their max. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty, yeah, well, that's it's the true. thing, man. People like. With like social media, you're you're like like all of these like juice monkeys yeah. and all these crazy looking people. It's all in your face, so you just want it right away. Yeah. Like all these younger look, looking cats that that are looking like solid and shit. Like obviously they play a huge influence on how like other people approach their uh, nutrition, their diet, just their training protocols and all that shit, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, which is why like when you're working to or when you're starting your fitness goals it's like super like i'm not even trying to sell myself here bro mm-hmm. i'm like it's so important to get yourself educated mm-hmm. to invest in a coach to invest in a trainer invest in knowledge because in the end of the day you're like if you're just wasting your time trying to figure it out and like you know mm-hmm. like wasting money on supplements like bro that's time and money and time and money on supplements that you're like investing well not investing in because you're like just blindly paying for it because yeah. like you see the next guy because you're it. trying to go for those shortcuts or the you're trying to like, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a process. What I learned with this stuff is like, it's, it's a, it's, it takes years, man. Like yeah. you can't just expect to get to that finish line. Yeah. You've got to chip away at it day by day, by day, by day, by day. And rest days count, mm-hmm. taking breaks, work, like all that counts towards your final goal. Yeah, exactly. Mm. But what people don't realize is like, when you finally get there and you look back at the process, it's the, like, Time goes by fast. Like when you look at time for going forward, it seems so fucking slow. But like, say when we like look at back, look back at memories, like you know, months, Mm. years ago, it doesn't even feel like that long ago. You know what I mean? So it's flying. Yeah, people like we like people just gotta stop looking like so forward, and you know what I mean. Just like be more present and just trust that you know things are gonna work out, and like just do the same shit every fucking day, and just. Not necessarily eat the same shit every day, but like, you know, know what you're putting into your body, know how you're training, your recovery. I mean, sleep, like sleep, like sleep and recovery is like so like underrated, bro. Yeah, it's crazy, true. man. Like I didn't realize how like sleep and recovery affected me until I'm not even that old, but I'm talking like I'm fucking 50, but I feel it even today, like not, not today exactly, but like in like recent times, like the other day, I stayed up to like 2 a.m. and I woke up at like, I want to say 8.30 or something, right? And I felt that, bro. It was like rough. Like I was like, whoa, you know what I mean? You don't feel like 100%, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? No, I like at a young age, like you could get away with doing this, this, and that, right? I was that, I was that kid back in the day, man. Back in YMCA when all these, old, like, all these old cats would come up to me and I'm like training like a motherfucking gorilla. They're like, yo, you got to chill because when you're 25, it's going to hit you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up, this, this, and that, you know what I mean? I'm, you know, like, I, you feel unstoppable when yeah, you're younger, yeah. right? You're like, you're, uh, you kind of feel bulletproof, you know what I mean? You, like, uh, you, you can, like, you it's know how it is, man. When you're younger, I you're feel like... I bulletproof right now, man. <laughs> 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 but you, you actually approach, you, you, dude, you actually approach this whole health and uh, well-being in, like, then like in a next level, you know what I mean? Right? It's weird, yeah. You do like crazy shit, bro. You do like- Cause I don't, it's not like I don't, I'm not in the gym like, oh, lifting heavy, heavy ass weights or nothing. But like, I guess in terms of like the body as a machine and an engine and like, I try to like use or like try to keep it souped up like yeah. on top, like, I don't know. I yeah. just want to be able to push myself at a hundred percent at any time, at all times. Like Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Well, kind of like, the supplements or things that you find work with your like like whole like journey so far. I know you uh, you've played around with uh, like supplements and like random shit like red light therapy. Like so, uh, there's daily supplements. Then there's supplements I take on and off and shit. So like sh- daily. So no matter what, protein powder. I I'll drink like every day or every other day. Either a vegan. Vegan if I'm just slamming it with water or almond milk or whey protein if I'm with proats, like protein oats, yeah. or in a smoothie. And then 
creatine I got on when you got on it this this year. Yeah, because I, I yeah because I reported and back like, to blah, the blah, team. Blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I told you like, oh yo, I did take it back in the day, but I don't ever remember taking it properly. And you just say like, yo. So fucking, I tried that one. Creatine, I only buy the Cre 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 Pure brand. It's the most studied, most researched brand. Uh, it's from Germany. A oh. lot of companies they just sell their stuff anyways, like under their brand. That's how it is, though. That's how. That's, that's basically the supplement game, isn't it? It's like everybody kind of gets. There's the manufacturer, and then they feed it. And, the, and then yeah. they just slap their own label on it. Exactly. Yeah. So you want to buy the try to buy the Crea Pure brand one. Uh, uh, spirulina chlorella. I take that. I think it's in broken cell powder form. It's like an algae. Yo, what I is think, that? I think it gives you like energy and like stuff like like I I first heard about it from Ben Greenfield. Spir you might have to search it up for more details, but like. Spirulina chlorella. I started taking it every day. It's super dark green as fuck. And like it harsh makes the green drink. And even it will fuck your teeth up maybe a bit. Start getting a dark green in between your teeth and shit. Oh, but, what the fuck? My ass doesn't work. But it's really, really good. Like, uh, yeah, and I don't know. It just, I feel like it's good for your energy like at a cellular level. I don't know. Spirulina. I know a lot of weird shit, but then it's like when you try to ask me like, yo, okay. In, the, in depth, and I'm like, you know, it's like. What's with the red light therapy? That, that's some shit, yo. I remember you were like harsh, like yo. You I still do it every day, yo. I still do red light therapy every time I take a shit. I'm sitting on the toilet. I have the red light sitting on a stool over there, and it's like aimed at me. So does that does that kind of like um, mock like sunlight and shit, or? Uh... I guess you could say it kind of mock sunlight. It's good for people that don't get a lot of light too. Yeah. It's good for them. It's good for testosterone production, collagen, I think production or something. It's good for a lot of. It uh, gives you energy. It's good for your eyesight. It's good. The infrared uh, spectrum is good for your eyesight. It's the infrared spectrum is really good for hair loss. Some people like they lay there for the hair, stimulate the hair cells, hair follicles and shit to help grow your hair back. Yeah. But like, yeah, the, the eye one was done recently where like people sit for, I think, three minutes in front of red lights and it, it increases your vision, like makes your vision better. Did you do that consistently throughout like summer and winter, like all seasons? Like, I, can't, I only bought the red light panel less than two years ago, probably two years ago. So, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So, when, yeah, it's just, it's, if I'm, before I used to have a separate thing, like, okay, I'm going to stand in front of the le red light panel. Because remember when I first learned it, I learned it because Ben Greenfield and shit, and he'd stand in front of it naked. So, that's how I first yeah. started doing it. I would stand in front of it naked with it aimed at my balls. Yeah, yeah. Because then it said, like, it, that's how you get the most testosterone, all this crazy stimulation production. So, like, I would feel, like, warm and, like, crazy energy. Yeah. So I would stand there butt naked fucking red lighting my balls all the time. And then yeah. it got to the point, I'm like, yo, this is like, fuck, like, how can I like, and then I started just doing it. I, I stopped aiming it at my balls. And I just, I just wanted to get it on my skin. Uh -huh. So then I started doing it when I just take a shit. Cause it's like, okay, I'm going to be sitting here. I might as well just have the red light aimed at me in the bathroom. So now I just, whenever I take a shit, I have it aimed at me. And so I still get it. This is typically you do it in the morning? Every morning. Yeah. Every morning. So like, you know, like. You ever heard of like seasonal depression and shit? When oh, people... this would be perfect for Yeah, us. so like, did you notice like a diff, like uh, a difference in, in seasons for you? Since, since, since you do it consistently, or do you feel, have you been just feeling consistently the same every morning? I do feel that like, let's just say you just wake up, your eyes aren't that open, you're like, eh. You know, you're like, it feels like the end, your blood's not running quick and fast, and you're just like sluggish and like, uh, so then when you sit there in front of that light, it like almost like gets you going, wakes you up, gives you this energy. Like when you turn that light off, there's almost like a brightness a yeah. bit and like you're up now. And like it almost like triggers like, hey, it's daytime, it's wake yeah. up. It's your, it almost like triggers your circadian rhythm a bit probably too. Yeah. I would imagine. So, but you didn't feel that transition like mentally from like mm. from long sunny days to like short, short mean, dark well, days? I did feel something because I kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it. Yeah. And I kept, I'm like, huh. So I guess it for sure does something. And it's almost to the point where like, I want it to have at least every day on my skin. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, you you end up kind of like feeding for it. Do you, do you supplement vitamin D? No. No? Would you say it's like pretty... I think I need to go out in the sun more. I've been already thinking about that myself. Like, I, I, need, I need to go out in the sun more and shit. And then fucking, um, otherwise... I feel like it's already, it's just the shakes and shit I take there, but I haven't measured how much I take, no. Like, uh, but like, you don't measure your, like, your, uh, what do you call it? Vitamin D, no. Or like, you don't, do you, but I feel like the vitamin D is like, since you're already doing the red light therapy, doesn't that kind of like, um, That's true. Okay, so, 
They say the vitamin, D, of vitamin D. It's not even really a vitamin. It's technically a hormone. So it's, it's even more essential than you think it is. It's like super, like for your whole body to work properly, it's super essential. Fucking, wait, where the fuck my mind went? <laughs> wait, what was I talking about right now? Vitamin D. <laughs> Bro, I'm fucking, I'm gooning right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was right, a vitamin D is a hormone so yeah you can supplement it but you want the one you get from the sun because when you stand in the sun your body creates that hormone from the sunlight inside your body endogenously so okay. that is the best form sure you can say I supplement vitamin and whenever you supplement vitamin you want a D it's the D3 you want the D3 okay because it's the most like I forgot what form like it's the closest form to sunlight kind of deal mm, possibly or g double check like why vitamin D3 and a lot of people take vitamin D3 with K2 because like they fucking they go together and maybe even magnesium I think I forgot why see like I remember a lot of these things and I forgot like why like what's to do and shit again right vitamin D3 vitamin D3 and then ask it's why do we take it with K2 because there's two types there's the K1 and K2 but you want to take the K2 what the and a lot of the protein shakes we drink, they only have the vitamin K1 in it. Vitamin D and vitamin K are both fat-soluble vitamins and play a central role in calcium metabolism. Uh, okay, that doesn't answer my oh, question. Oh yeah, that's really good for you too, so your, uh, the calcium doesn't clog up in your arteries and build up on those cell walls. There was, holy crap, this is a lot of information, man. Just why vitamin D3 versus others, right? We're just trying, why D3? Okay, the, I'll read the abstract. Vitamin D and K are both fat soluble. Vitamins play a central role in calci calcium metabolism. Vitamin D promotes the production of vitamin K dependent proteins, which requires vitamin K for carb carboxylation in order to function properly. The purpose of this review is to summarize available evidence of the synergistic interplay between vitamin D and K on bone and cardiovascular health. Animal and human studies suggest that optimal concentrations of both vitamin D and K are beneficial for bone and cardiovascular health supported by genetic, molecular, cellular, and human studies. The most clinical trial, oh my God, this is so much, dude. Just YD3. YD3. And not other forms of D. Why vitamin D3 versus other? Two forms of vitamin D differ depending on their... You gotta talk louder. The two forms of vitamin D differ depending on their food sources. Vitamin D3 is only found in animal source foods, whereas D2 mainly comes from plant sources and fortified foods. Since vitamin D2 is cheaper to produce, it is most common form in, in fortified foods, but that doesn't answer my question. I think D3 is more... Uh your body uses it, utilizes it more and better. D3 is formed in your skin. Let's see. D3 is more effective at improving vitamin D status. Mm -hmm. So vitamin D and... Oh, so your levels, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll, that's what'll actually correlate to increasing it inside of you more. Yeah. Oh, another thing I heard recently is cell, if you, uh, you know when you go to get a magnesium test, uh, you wanna get your red cell tested for magnesium. Your red blood cells tested for Double magnesium? Double checked. Because a lot of people, when they go to get magnesium tested, ch type that in. What should I search? Magnesium blood test red cell. So yeah, when you go to get a magnesium test, it's not accurate usually because they're not testing the right thing. The RBC blood test also known as a magnesium blood test is used to measure the level of magnesium found in your red blood cells floating in the blood serum. The test is, nope. That doesn't answer it. Wait, what am I? <laughs> ways of testing magnesium in the blood? Our best ways of testing magnesium in the blood? I forgot what I... I just remember random stuff. No, but yeah, when you go to the doctor and they ask you for... Uh, and you're getting your magnesium tested, I think it's you want to test your... the content in your red blood cells, possibly. Why do, why do I need to, a magnesium blood test? 
symptoms of low magnesium include weakness, muscle cramp, twitching, confusion, irregular heartbeat, and seizures. Fuck, I don't even know, bro. This is a lot. Here. Oh, this is a lot. <laughs> yeah. It is a lot. <laughs> Sorry, so basically where I was getting to with this was that um, can you get the same benefits from red light therapy that you do from like, taking vitamin D and like, like getting the sun outside? No, I feel like it's, sun is the best. You yes. can't replace sunlight with anything. And then I would even just say red light therapy and all this shit is just to supplement them. Because no matter what, you shouldn't taste uh, t uh, replace sunlight. What's up? What'd you forget? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we took some fucking microdoses and shit and um, chased it with Henny. Who's the fuck's idea was that? Was that? Yeah. That's JR's idea. Yeah. <laughs> we're like talking about healthier and we're doing shrooms and fucking Hennessy and shit. <laughs> hey, whatever, man. It's New Year's Eve, right? Have a little fun. Gym's closed. Okay, so accurately measuring magnesium le levels can be difficult. Magnesium is primarily found within your cells, intracellular. So most blood tests for magnesium do not detect a signi significant deficiency because they measure what is outside the cells, extracellular. Despite this fact, most with a simple so yeah, most physicians measure magnesium with a simple blood test, and many people are then informed that their levels are normal. But to get an accurate reading, you need to measure intracellular magnesium levels, which can be done by testing red blood cells. So yeah, if you ever want to test your magnesium, make sure you do it on the red blood cells. Straight up. Right. Have you ever gotten that tested? No, I need to test it. I've, I've been thinking about getting a male panel test where they test your cortisol, your testosterone levels, and all. I want to get that tested too, man. Yeah, they do it at Life Labs. I everybody think. like always talks about when when you hit a certain age, like 25, 30. Oh, like, fuck that! No, yeah, no, no. That's bullshit. Uh, we've been on that. Like, you need to start tuning now, because like later on, it's like, what are you later? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're built from a shitty foundation then. Like, I feel like age has nothing to do with anything. It's about um, your biologic, like, what was that word? Oh, yeah, biological age, yo. Bio that's like me. Like, I, like, biologically, in human years, I'm like... Biological age, yeah. How old am I? I'm fucking, like, whatever, decades old, right? Yeah. Biologically, I feel like I'm fucking 20 years old. Like, Same you know here. I mean? like, I feel like I'm... Like, uh, and, like, I don't know. Like, but I honestly, like, some days I do feel like... I'm older, like 35 and shit. And a good mark, I've been hearing and reading, sometimes when you physically look at a person and you see them, that's a good way of biological age. Like they're balding, gray hairs, skin's fucked up, like droopy face, bags under the eye. Like these are all like, you can kind of tell their biological age even some, yeah, yeah. sometimes like that. Or uh, it's actually like a really good predictor. Yeah. And so technically if you call somebody, oh, if you say like, oh, you look old, technically you are old biologically. For, uh, yeah, because you could literally say, see their, their everything, like to the cellular T, they're just fucking aging at a ex, the high rate. Yeah. And then, but yeah, like, I don't know, like, I feel like diet, exercise, okay, and then they say for your biological age, nothing can beat exercise. Exercise is the number one effective thing to slow down your, or even stop, like, or try to stop your biological age clock, like, yeah, and nothing can top or beat exercise the amount of times that it help can help you. Okay, so like, I, I, I was telling like my buddy about this, like something similar to this, right? And he's like, yo, like my, I mean, we were talking about this with other bro too, like he, he was saying, he was telling his doctor how like his job is so like oh, active, yeah. this, this, and that. So he was telling me that my bro was telling me the same shit. He's like, he's like, yo, I don't need to exercise this, this, and that. I like, I work construction. Like, I lift weights all day. You know, I go up and down stairs and shit like that. But that's different, right? Obviously, it's that. That's like more like stress related. Yeah, like, yeah you're right. I would imagine there's different kinds of chemicals. Going he's telling me the same shit. He's like, he's like, yo, I don't need to exercise this, this, and that. I like, I work construction. Like, I lift weights all day. You know, no. I go up and down stairs and shit like that. But that's different, right? Obviously, yeah. It's, that that's like more like stress related. it's a different yeah you're right i would imagine there's different kinds of chemicals going through your bo brain and body for that and stuff like that because like mentally you see work as like work it's like and then it puts you kind of in this mood or like this it's mental mode, mode like yeah. oh fuck like now i gotta do this like 
and you're already like approaching it semi-stressed out, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you, don't yeah. you don't really want to do it. Whereas like if you were to approach like something like exercise and shit like that and, and, and you're like more excited for it and something that you're looking forward to, then that's obviously different th than fucking doing work, right? Yeah, like I don't know, like I feel like you need to do like directive, like specific, almost exercises and training to like get at what you're trying to do. Because when you're at work, think about it. Like you're just like, and like you're just like, you're in robot mode. You're not going, okay, I'm going to squat this shovel throw, squat. You know what yeah. I mean? No one's doing like moves like Rest that. Rest between sets, that's a big thing too. Yeah, right? <laughs> shit like that, right? It's like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like you're working and you're, you're just having like a one minute break in between and your boss is like, what the fuck are you doing? You're like, oh, I got to get my rest between sets. Yeah. Because, uh, that's how I get proper recovery. <laughs> Better for performance, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, was trying to get, I was trying to tell my mom, they're like, you know, like, because like she's, Biologically, like, uh, she's older than she should be, you know what I in mean? In age years, yeah. I don't want I hate to say it, but, you know, like, it's true, right? I think that's, like, most of our parents, right? Yeah, like, and then, like, I try to promote exercise and nutrition to it all the time because, like, it's what I do for a living, right? But they're just used to doing what they do, right? Ah, she always tells me some shit, you know? It's like, yeah. oh, yeah, I eat vegetables, oh, yeah, like, I clean the house, that's exercise. I'm like, fuck, yeah. man, like, how can I explain this to them without going so scientific mode, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, I, like, I was just on the phone with, um... Homegirl, mm -hmm. this morning, mm -hmm. I, yeah, yeah. Out, I hopped on the phone call with her, yeah. and we're talking about the same shit. And like we're like we're talking about how like we're trying to convince our parents to get into that like that like <laughs> lifestyle, this this and that. But it's so fucking hard, you yeah. know. What I mean? You can't really teach a old dog new tricks unless you have like a crate. Even if you have like you a gotta crazy, be open to it. Yeah, you, you gotta be open. Exactly, you yeah. gotta be open minded willing, to it. Yeah. yeah, like even if you had like a crazy doctor tell you what to, what to do, like that, that, that's not gonna. Because like at, at a certain point in your life, you're gonna think, "Oh shit, it's too late." Which Yo, is... I see that a lot, man. I'll even see that with people 30 years old, and they'll be like, oh, "I don't know, it's too late." So I'm like, "Whoa, what yeah. the fuck, man?" They already like, gave up, and they're like, "Okay, I, this is what I'm selling." I see people find, fucking start start their dreams at 40 years old. Yeah. And then they and by 50, they're like, "Well, this is the greatest thing that ever happened to me," you know, shit like that. Like, I don't know, like, you don't know what the fuck's going on, man. Yeah, it's like it's never too late. It's never too early to like. No, man. Now is the time. Like, now right time. now. If you guys have been waiting for the fucking, for a little message, for a sign, like, this is your motherfucking sign, man. Get the fuck out of there. Get in the gym. Get somewhere. Get outside. I remember I'd be like, oh, I need to work. Brody, I started walking around the block, walking to the park, walking in circles here, there. Like, what the fuck? Who says you can't? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have the means. I don't have this, that. You don't need to pay shit. Go, you got fucking, you got two feet. You don't even need shoes. You got no shoes, that's fine. You don't even need shoes, buddy. You just walk outside, like. Well, the perception of like health and well-being is so like extreme, you know what I mean? If you really- It's if, so basic. Like if you think about, but if you think about, if you were to tell, like uh, bring up that idea, the idea of health and fitness to like, I don't know, some person that has no, like no clue what the fuck any of that shit is, in their head, they're already thinking like, oh yeah, so probably fucking salads and fucking lifting heavy weights. Yeah, they got this like, yeah. Yeah, like the perception of health and fitness and wellness shouldn't be like some fucking crazy person that you see on the magazine, mm. you know what I mean? Going outside, getting your neat, you know, non-exercise activity, yeah. thermogenics, you know, like that, like just walking outside, getting your steps in, you know what I mean? Like that's already um, a big step, you know? Like celebrate that for fuck's sakes, you yeah. know what I mean? Like Fuck people yeah. are look, looking looking at these like motherfuckers on Instagram that are like I don't know like let's see, let's let's use somebody like Liver King for instance you okay. know because he's pretty extreme and I'm sure he has an audience that like of people that have never gotten into this whole fitness health shit and they're looking at this guy like yo I gotta fucking eat raw testicles and do all this and do this, all this that. shit I gotta go fucking and gym. it's hard to make the step yeah because you're like whoa this is like a leap it's like yo like I. I haven't even thought about eating a vegetable, let alone a fucking testicle, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's the extremes, right? It's, yeah, people are always looking at the extremes, but it doesn't have to be extreme. It can start by going out, walking outside, getting more fresh air. Eating getting... fucking plants and animals. Like, yeah. you mean, like, I like to eat shit. If, if it lives, grows, or you can kill it, like, I'll eat it. Right? Like, fuck, God damn it. Like, it's not that hard to figure it out. Like, and See, I'll... It's, it's the same with fucking nutrition, right? Yeah. Like people are like, oh yeah, like, okay, like, does that mean I gotta cut carbs? And like, holy crap, that oh, one gets to me yeah. so hard, bro. Dude, I remember seeing bro at the gym. 
I don't want to say your name because, <laughs> anyways, uh, I see him at the gym, and then I was working out, right? And he's like, "Yo, what the fuck?" He's like, "Yo, blah blah blah. I haven't seen you in a long time. This, this, and that, right?" And he's like, "Yo, I'm going to Mexico, or I don't know. I'm going to somewhere." He was going to somewhere. He's like, "He's like, yeah, I want to get shredded. I'm trying to get shredded." I'm like, "Oh shit, nice. Like, uh, what are you doing?" He's like, "Yo, so basically, I just uh, stopped eating carbs, <laughs> and I was, and then like right then and there, I just went dead face. I'm like." Nice. How are you feeling? Like, how's your energy feel? He's like, uh, a little bit tired. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Let me know how you feel. Like, because I didn't even bother getting into that conversation. Seems like, because the when they talk like that, it seems like I figured it out. I know what to do. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm going to do. Yeah, exactly. So it kind of throws you off, like, uh, all right. Like, okay, you try that out and come back, and, you know, then. I used to be that guy where I'm like, where I stop and, like, you know, like, correct them. But, like, mm. dude, it's just so exhausting when you. On deaf ears. Yeah, bro. Like, like, exactly. Mm -hmm. On deaf ears, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you're giving so much, somebody so much value, so much knowledge for fucking free, and then they go out there and do the same shit that they were doing, and they bomb their fitness goals, and they just fucking don't even, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, like, I just, like, <laughs> come on, dude, you know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's like, you don't gotta take extreme strep steps like that in order to get to a certain goal. And I, I feel like that's why people, don't even start? Exactly. Don't even start. They hesitate. They're like, whoa, I'm going to go on defense mode. You know what? I don't think that life is for me. I'm just going to be happy yeah. and drink beers and fucking have It's easy high to stay the same. It's easy to stay the same. And it's hard to not change. Uh, to, to, to change. But you know what's hard? is fucking regret. Yeah. That's hard. Is looking back like, whoa. Or looking in the mirror like, what the fuck did I do to myself? Or like yeah. looking back on time like, yo, this time can't go back. Yeah. I wish I did this. I wish I did that. I could this, that. And then you see the people that actually stuck to and you're like, <gasps> and you start panicking, you start tripping out like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, yo, that could have been me. I could have been this, that. Like, yo, man, like it, everyone can do it. Just fucking start now. It's not even that fucking it's hard. Start something like small too. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be like hit your fucking macros tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> hit, your, no. hit your fucking steps like tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like make sure you fucking do every single thing on the program tomorrow. Like, yeah. no, man, like you can take little steps. Like, it's about feeling good, being good, just like. And I, 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 I can't lie. I used to be that trainer where, like, okay, I give them the plan. I expect, I set extreme expectations, but you can't set extreme expectations to people that have never done like any of this shit before, because mm -hmm. then they get overwhelmed and they go on defense mode. And, they're, like, and they're, they're more likely to quit. Fuck that! They're so likely to quit because yeah, yeah. then they, they're so overwhelmed and they feel like, oh, like this is so fucking hard. Mm -hmm. Like I can't, I could never do this, no, no, right? No. I can, like, this is fuck. Like, how the fuck? Like, you know, like. They're thinking too much. Like, what I like to do is I just take everything one day at a time, one day at a time, one day at a time. I'll be like, okay, what do I gotta do today? This is it. This is that. That's all I gotta do. I don't gotta worry about losing 56 pounds by the end of the year. I, all these fucking, I got legs on Monday, this, that. No, what am I doing today? This is all I gotta Oh, what? That's it. Boom, boom, boom. And then what? Two hours just went by. That's it. I'm good. I'm done. And then now, just worry about tomorrow. Just worry about tomorrow. Just worry about the next one day at a time. Don't worry about, yeah. oh my God, I have a six week, tw 12 week plan here. This, whoa, like no, motherfucker. You're just doing it one day at a time. It's so easy. It's just one day at a time. Like, yeah, and that, I mean like, and, that, and that's the thing, you know, like when, when people start getting like um, started with their journeys and shit like that, they have these like, oh, I want to lose 50 pounds. Oh, I want to lose 60 pounds, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. In, in three months or, you know, one year and this like, yeah. and they're just so glued into that idea of I got to lose this amount of weight but that shouldn't be like that shouldn't be the only way you should measure your like success yeah or your your results and you know it's about how do you look how, how do you, you feel? feel that's a big one is how do you fucking feel how, how you f the feel is like like that that should be the first thing you mm. you should be monitoring you know what i mean yeah that's right huge. you'll know right away that you'll something's know right wrong because bro that yeah buddy that i just started recently um uh, training here um he felt it right away. He's like, bro, like it's like day and night. He's like, I, I don't see the result. I don't, I might not see it, but like, you feel it. He's like, I feel it. Like they, like I went from like not wanting to go to the gym. Now, like I fiend to like exercise. Yes. Like, yes. Yes. And I had to actually tell him like, bro, you got to slow down a little bit here. Right. Cause you got to actually start taking rest days. Yes. Yes. Right. 
Because <laughs> that was like, a big thing. Yeah, learning yeah. about rest days. Yeah. <laughs> and how important they are is fuck. It's hard for anyone, man. Because you, you get into a point where you you get the ball rolling, yeah. you get the ball rolling, you want to keep going, but then all of a sudden you like you don't want to stop because you're scared because you think that one day is gonna fuck you up. Yeah. Right? Like oh shit, this one day is gonna fuck me up. You know, yeah. like you know what I mean? You see it all the time around like like uh, the holidays, right? People start stressing the fuck out. They're like, you know, and they stress the, they stress themselves so hard that they're like, you know what? Fuck it. It's a write off. Yeah. It's like it's a write off. I'm gonna start January first. No, you know what I mean? No, no, no. <laughs> fuck see, all these bullshit ass excuses. Over here, we make results. We don't make excuses, yeah. man. I don't like, know about these excuses. Like, it, you can plan your like cheat meals. You can plan. You can have that in the plan. You know what I mean? Why don't we like normalize putting? You know, like cheat meals like you know even like fuck even yeah that's like me in a meal in, in, into your plan rather than looking at it like oh fuck i just i just fell off track you mm. know what i mean like you know so how people go out on friday saturday nights do this that yeah. for me my going out is i'll go to the grocery store and i'll grab some kind of fucking trippy junk food like ice cream chips and all Yo, this trippy shit and then that's my whoa and like when i'm doing it i'm like whoa this is crazy and like i feel yeah. so like almost like a guilt and crazy pleasure and like yo this is crazy yo like and i'm happy with that and yeah. that's actually and that's incorporated in and i'll do that once once a week twice a week or like once every two weeks and, yeah. and not feel bad about it it doesn't affect you and it doesn't do nothing to you it's actually part of your shit it's just exactly you mean like i don't know yeah exactly like, meals are okay yeah Gmails are okay, like falling off track, that's fucking totally normal. It's normal, yeah. Right? As long as you have a plan moving forward and you, you stick to the plan. Because, mm. like, the moment. Don't you start, abandon it. Exactly. The moment you start feeling bad about yourself and you're like, fuck, I should just can it. Yeah, no. Nope. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's, that's moving backwards. But yeah. it, I guess it's all, it's all about, like, how you approach it and how you see it, right? Because if you see mm -hmm. it as, like, all right, this is part of the plan, I'm giving myself a break. If you look at it more of like a. Um, like a deload or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Rather than like, oh, I'm falling off. Like I totally fucked different. up this, that. No, it's not that bad. Like, yo. It's another story if you're going on a bender. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's why you, that's why you got to, that's why you plan these cheat meals. So you don't, you don't go on a bender. Cause know? then you build up that like hunger and like that thirst for that. And then out of nowhere, you just go, oh, and you just fucking drive through this, that pizzas and all these things. And yeah, yeah, exactly. You run. <laughs> No, yeah, I've, I've like, I've definitely seen it. Like, you know, for fuck's sake, Jr. <laughs> I don't want to throw you under the bus, but <laughs> you know, at least, as long as as long as you know that, you know, bro. Like, I know, like that whole weekend of you going to Whistler, that kind of messed you up mentally, <laughs> right? But in the back of your head, you know, like, okay, like it's all good. I've I've been here before. You can yeah, you you can accept the fact that um, hey, I can I'll. I'll you still gotta check in every week, you know what I mean? And like, and that's another thing, right? Like, when like, clients start slipping, they stop checking in. And I'm like, yo, why did you stop checking in? It's like, you, like don't be ashamed. Yeah, no, it, don't be ashamed, yeah. Check it, in, even if it looks fucked up. Like, yeah. yo, it, it, even you just saying it to your coach, it's, you're giving yourself a check. Yeah. Like, fuck, like, I don't even wanna say that. I had to say this, that, and like, you almost like, go, you know what, I'm never gonna say that again. Like, I don't wanna ever fuck say that, you know? So it's good, like, you, you wanna keep yourself, like, accountable. Exactly. Held to that standard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you know, yo, coach, straight up, I fucked up. This would happen, blah, blah, blah. And you know, coach me, like, yo, we got a plan, you know? This is what we're gonna do. Exactly. You know, we bounce back right out of this. Say, it, like, if, say, you, say you got a coach, right? You hire a coach, you hire a trainer, and you slipped, and you don't check in, you just completely ghost the fucker. And then you come back and you're like, Okay, like sorry dude, like I fucking fucked up. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm like <laughs> and then you don't check in, right? Then you kinda left you left him at a place him or her at a place where they're like, Okay, where the fuck do we start? Because he didn't even check in. I don't know exactly like you know, like you gotta you gotta build that trust with your with your coach and trainer where like you could tell them whatever whatever. And that relationship. Fucking, yeah, exactly. That relationship where you're comfortable about talking about Oh, I fucking had a bender. I did some fucking cheat. Like, you know what I mean? I did, I did, some, <laughs> I did some cocaine last night or some shit like that. Cause <laughs> like, this, no, shit like you know, like shit like that. Cause you know, like at the end of the day, like yeah, the trainer, your coach might get be a little disappointed, but at least he has like he knows like what to build your next week off of. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Whereas like if you tell him two weeks later. Now you got a coach that's trying to guess, like, okay, fuck, like, no. I don't know how many calories he fucking ate. I don't know how much weight he, he how much weight or water he really gained in mm -hmm. the two weeks because I had no fucking update. Yeah. Right? You're actually like losing value 
from your investment when you do that, mm -hmm. when you don't check in, when you don't tell your coach what the fuck you did. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think a coach is like one of the best investments, man. Like I see some people like they'll be like, I don't need a coach. I'm good. Show me the most highest level athlete. They all got a fucking coach. Okay. And you ain't no motherfucking Floyd Mayweather. Well, fuck what I listen to you. You don't need a coach, buddy. Like, yeah. shut the fuck up, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, look at even me. People think I'm so into health fitness. This is a motherfucking coach trainer right here. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, I got a coach trainer too, yo. Well, I got a coach. Yeah, same. And I, I've hired a trainer too. Yeah, you had a coach too. I like, had a yo. coach too. You know what I mean? And, then, and it's funny because then I get this question myself. I'm like, dude, don't you know all this? Don't you, can't you figure this out? Yeah. Because I'm like, yeah, okay, maybe I can figure it out. But then I'm going to have a biased opinion on how I'm going to approach it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, a coach isn't going to be afraid to tell you what's up. Yeah. I could, you know, I could just, I could just like cheat my way out. Like, it's just mainly accountability. Yeah. The fact that I have a coach, like that I, like that I don't want to disappoint him mm -hmm. or the fact that like I threw money and I don't want to waste my money. You know what I mean? Like that adds into it. You know what mm -hmm, I mean? Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. having somebody there, like in your face, keeping you accountable, um, tracking everything, correcting, correcting you. you and shit like that. Cause like when you, when you're so deep into like a, say a prep or just like a fitness journey, this, this and that, sometimes you'll run into like mental battles. You're like, you know, where you're like, fuck, like, I don't think I'm losing fast enough. And then you, and then you decide to put yourself in a more um, extreme calorie deficit. And that's actually like stopping you from making faster progress rather than, you know, mm -hmm. than w what you expected, right? Cause I've done it, like, I can speak for myself, bro. Like, when I was cutting for my trip back in 2020, I thought I wasn't cutting enough. Uh, I wasn't cutting fast enough, like leaning out fast enough. So then I, dude, I dropped my calories to like, I think it was like 17, <laughs> 1750. And like that, like the lowest calories I've ever been on in prep was probably 1750, but that was only my last two weeks. I was running 1750 with like 45 minutes, maybe an hour cardio um, for probably like one month prior to my trip and then I remember Eric was like yo you look flat I'm like what and he's like yeah you, you're doing too much cardio or some shit it's like yeah bro like I want to fucking you know I'm trying to get like shredded obliques and shit like that he's like yeah dude you look flat you don't your you're muscles are way. popping yeah. you know what I mean like you look a little leaner but you fucking look skinny I'm like oh shit you fucked know up. I mean? yeah I fucked yeah well yeah I fucked up because I put myself in that mental thought like, oh fuck, I'm not cutting fast enough, I'm not shredding fast enough, I'm not getting too, like, you know, like, fast enough. Like, in the end of the word, in the end of the day, the word is fast, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, if you don't got a coach, if you don't have somebody there to, like, tell you what's up and tell you what's real in reality, then you're gonna run into some issues. And, like, and there are some people that coach themselves, which is great, like, that's fucking dope. Some. Some. But not a lot. Not a lot. That's like a, <laughs> that's like probably like ten percent. Yeah, no. Maybe five percent of people. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. Like, and even if you could say like, "Oh, I'm not a high crazy athlete. I don't need a coach." No, even the lowest level motherfucker needs a coach. Like everyone needs a fucking coach. It's almost like your mentor, someone you can like look up to or like ask questions about. Like they've already been through this. You know, they can help you. They can word it for you like, whoa, what? Like, you, you know what I mean? They make you feel more comfortable, help you get through things. Like, and that's yeah, a huge thing, deep, man. Like, man. Yeah, like saving time, you know what I mean? Time. Yeah. Yeah, because like time is like something you can never get back. Like, why the fuck would you waste it, right? And at the same time, you got to watch out because a lot of fake-ass coaches too are fronting like the coaches. They're not real coaches. Yeah. Doing some half-ass <laughs> online training only because they're do, not even certified and all this weird do shit. Do some due diligence, right? Yeah, do some due diligence. Make sure, you know what I mean? There, there are a lot of fake coaches out there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't be dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Let's name them. Let's yeah, name them. No, no, no. No, no, we don't want to do that. We don't, <laughs> we don't put people's names up there like that. Yeah, like, when you're looking for a good coach, look for credibility. <laughs> look, um, make sure that they've gone through the whole process. Um, Personally, I don't, it I guess it depends on what age group you are, but like, obviously if you're like 30, 40, 50 years old, you're not going to hire some like, you know, young 20 year old, you know what I mean? That hasn't gone through it themselves kind of deal. Mm. Cause like when you hit like certain ages, 30, 40, 50, things like, you know, hormones, thyroid and shit like that, that starts playing a role in like, uh, 
you know, like menopause and shit, right? Shit like that. What is that? That's for menopause when girls get older, or something? Is when you can't produce eggs anymore. Oh, I'm shit. pretty sure. Pretty thousand percent. Google sure. that so we don't. <laughs> menopause. Uh, like middle age, you have a good. No, no, we're not pausing. No, <laughs> I'm down to pause for a henny shot. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's menopause, by the way, not menopause. <laughs> no, no, menopause, yeah. Yeah, menopause is the time that marks the end of, end of your menstrual cycle. So menopause can happen in your 40s and 50s. I've actually heard of a lady that gave birth when she was like 55. <laughs> Yo, I've seen that shit too. I've seen it on TV, like 60-year-old lady gives... Imagine your grandma just gave birth and now you... That's rough. What does that dude. make it? If your grandma just had a kid right now, boom. What, is that, what does that guy do? I don't fucking know, bro. If your That's grandma right now had a son, what is he? My uncle... Well, I guess that's a little different, but my uncle and his, I guess, girlfriend or some shit. I guess his girlfriend's like... In oh, her, I guess that counts then as your uncle. In, the, in her 50s, but then he, like, he's like closer to like 60, right? That's tough, man. Imagine trying to raise a child when you're fucking older. I mean, like, I guess if you're in good, good fucking shape, um, you can, you're going to take a second. <laughs> <laughs> We're like talking about health and fitness and shit. Fuck the health and fitness right now. I'm getting handy shots for the hood. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Fake it. No, I'm good. Just like the thought of that just makes me want to yak. He's faking it. No, I'm serious. You finished a whole bottle before we started. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> that was actually my first shot that I took ever in a while, like eight, ten months. That felt good, not drinking for it. And like anyone who knows me knows I don't really drink. Yeah. I just fucking let loose here and there. Well, especially for this party because we're trying to... Sounds smart and shit, you know what I mean? Yo, like, this guy's drinking, yo. Shit's gonna about to hit the fan. <laughs> <laughs> hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Oh, hyperbaric oxygen. Okay, I love hyperbaric oxygen therapy. People, people trip out whenever I say I'm going there. So hyperbaric oxygen therapy, it's really good for anyone who's had brain damage, concussions. Um, any, uh, it's, it's been really big among anti-aging because... Uh, these two ch studies came out of Israel and China showing that um, it can shorten the length of your telomeres and telomeres, your telomeres is a way they can measure, estimate your biological age. So they were showing that with 60 hyperbaric treatments in 90 days that you can uh, almost reverse, your, so grow your telomere length longer using hyperbaric oxygen therapy. But yeah, once these studies came out, like I'd be, I was already going to hyperbaric oxygen therapy and so many more people started coming there and shit. Like old people, young people. And every time they're like mentioning these anti-aging studies, I'm like, motherfucker, like I was already knew about this shit years ago, you motherfuckers, like what are you fucking coming in now? Like I first heard about it from like Ben Greenfield and shit. And like when I first got into fitness, like when my whole life changed, like so like 2017, 2018 and all this stuff. And then I started getting into all this like, Digging. So that's when I first heard about hyperbaric oxygen therapy and personally like I've been hit in the head so many times like I've been near like explosions and like fucking car I've been in car accidents and like all this but for sure my fucking brain is fucked like you know what I mean like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't feel emotions normally I don't think normally like I'm fucked so like uh, the lead up to me starting hyperbaric I got in a car accident and then I was near an explosion and then both times I got like concussed the blast, the explosion time, I got like blast injuries. I had like blast lung, ear got fucked, ears okay, got fucked. Okay, I, I remember that. Yeah, remember that? <laughs> I remember that. My equipment, I was fucked <laughs> that, up. Like, that was a wild story, dog. <laughs> a shockwave hit me so hard that it felt like I got hit by a car. Like basically you felt like you went through an earthquake, it sounds Not like? Not even an earthquake, man. It felt like, imagine you got, you're in, I'm standing here and a car came driving full speed at you and all your organs just got hit. That's <laughs> I was just like, bam, all my insides were fucked. Oh. And like, after that, like I was depressed and everything. And then I found out like, it makes you depressed and all this shit. Like I started having, feeling low and not happy and like sad and all this shit. And I'm like, yo man, I'm like this shit tr triggered up all the other shit all the times I hit my head, right? So for sure, I, I don't know. I always think like I got like CTE or something. Did you feel like an instant, uh, oh, oh, you got pause there? Yeah. As soon as he said, shh, something I'm about CTE. talking the whole time. CTE. <laughs> CTE. This is on you, right? This is on you. Okay. Ugh. I said CTE, so I'll still go off. I already knew what I was gonna. So, uh, do you feel like? Um... Oh yeah, CTE. Wait, I was talking about CTE. Fucking. 
Yeah, no, like I feel like I got CT or something. And then I need to fix all Wait, this fucking brain damage. Yeah, I don't know, you can't get diagnosed with CTE till you're dead because they got to cut open your brain and check your, check your brain. So you can only check it when you're dead. Chronic tra traumatic and Because hmm. everyone gets TBIs your whole life. Like little, you know, you, when you're driving like a fucking jet ski on the water and it's going, duh, 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 you're getting little minor TBIs from that shit too. Like throughout your life, traumatic brain injuries and apparently you can't reverse a bunch of them. Yeah. Like the more serious ones. So how did we get, okay, so how did I start hyperbaric accident? Car accident, explosions, and then fucking, I'm like, yo, I'm mentally fucked. I'm like, yo, I need to fix my brain. Uh, I'm like, I don't feel good. I'm fucked. Like, yo, and then fucking, and I ser doo -doo, searched up hyperbaric oxygen therapy. There's like three in the lower mainland. There's West Van, Burnaby, and Richmond. And then, so then I choose the most best one or the one that I liked or just, I just chose one. I'm like, all right, fuck, I'm gonna go with it. Fucking went there. I went there once and I'm like, yo, and I'm like, I came back out and I'm like, I, ha I had this like peace, like, like, I don't know. I felt like there's extra blood in my brain. Like so you my brain felt like this, but then now it felt like that. Like it felt like just more full inside my skull. It felt like, oh shit. Like to the, I didn't have blood going to the edges, but now I had blood going all the way to every little part of the brain and shit. And then like, I don't know, and then slowly then I went, I started going a lot and a lot, a lot more. And then like, nah, now, I, now I said like, I'm going to hyperbaric oxygen therapy till the day I die, probably. Like I'll still go like at least once a month. Do you or, feel like an immediate effect that right after, as soon as you get it, like, in terms yeah, yeah, of, like yeah. brain fog or like just like- Brain fog, you'll feel clear as hell. You'll feel like really clear of breath. All your sinuses open, everything open. Uh, you feel no st stagnant, like, you know, stagnant, that word, like, you just feel like muddy, mu it's stuck. fresh water. It feels like you got fresh rivers flowing through your whole body instead of like a pond or like a creek, like just a little, everything's just open. All your, I feel like your chakras or your chi channels are more open and like yeah. all the energy flow and like, I just feel better. And like, uh, for, in the beginning, I was going a lot more frequently, like twice a month or or I don't know if I ever meant more than that, but then now I only go like once a month and shit. Well, like ex that. explain to me what what like what do you mean what you mean by like your chakras and your chi like opened up? What the, like what do you mean? You know how you have energy channels inside your body? I don't know about you guys because I'm on some next level shit. I know. No, you I guys know. Are... I've heard about chakras, but like when someone says like, oh yeah, you gotta open up your chakras, I don't. You feel it like the these energy mean? flows like like there's channels through your body where energy goes and like. Fucking like me, I'll get like fucking electricity go to my brain and like and like fucking I feel like I got all this like thunder, electricity, like power inside of me and like sometimes it doesn't flow right, sometimes it's flowing so properly and I'm like, yeah, like fucking I don't know, it's like your yeah, your chi, your chakras, all this stuff is your life force, your life energy. Chakras. Search it up. Let's let's check that out real quick. Chakras is like the Indian I've heard that, version. Chi is from China, Qi Gong and Chi like they or not Qi Gong, but Chi and then what do these seven chakras mean? <clears throat> seven chakras are in the main energy centers of the body. You've probably heard people talk about unblocking their chakras, which refers to the idea that when all their chakras are open, energy can run through them freely and, and harmony exists between the physical body, mind, spirit, mind and spirit. How do you feel that though, man? Like, do you gotta be like, do you gotta, how the fuck do you feel that? I remember Chizzy went to, um... I feel like the electricity. You know right away. Like, don't you feel like the spinal cord through your... Because remember, your spinal cord is an extension of your brain. It's encased by your spine because it's protecting it. But if you look on a... Literally, it's your brain and a fucking... It's like your brain's tail is your spinal cord. Yeah. And through that, too, you'll feel the fucking energy. Like me, I'll be like... And like, I'll feel like this power going through my spine, to my skull, to the base of my skull base of my back of my neck skull and like i don't know what's back there cerebral something hippocampus or something i don't fucking know <laughs> yeah there's yeah. a lot of shit going on back there and it's like and I'm fucking, why, how, why are we even talking about this i don't know because i'm trying to ask you what the fuck how you i'm fucking you gotta do it you gotta be crazy you gotta do kundalini yoga to summon the fucking demons <laughs> kundalini <laughs> yoga this guy was going off about kundalini yoga yesterday by the time they see this they probably already seen that yeah yeah for sure yeah probably they better have seen that yeah like, i don't know like yeah like i don't know because yeah on, on the scale of the universe we're nothing but just there's just a bunch of particles and energy and waves yeah like right now, you're just a bunch of particles in the shape of Arnie. I'm a bunch of particles in the shape of me. We're vibing on this fucking frequency energy. 
I don't know, man. Oh, I'm a universal being. I don't even, even get to chakra. I'm a multi-dimensional being. <coughs> <laughs> He's like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So do you believe in that third eye and shit like that too? Hell like, yes, I believe in your fucking third eye, man. Okay, so yo, like, yeah. Like, I feel like that shit saved me some couple times. Like sometimes I see shit before it happens, and I'll see shit in the future, and I'll be like feeling like. Bleh. Sometimes hard to get on that. But he told me like he goes so high on sh fucking shrooms, he he felt his third eye open. I'm like, how do you feel your third eye open? I've never even felt for me, like, like maybe eye. maybe he 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 reached a new level of perception. He started looking and uh, looking at things differently, and just opened everything up for him. Cause he was he's probably been so conditioned and just the way he is. You know what I mean? So like him just doing the shrooms and it took him somewhere he's never been, and he's just like, whoa, my third eye opened. So basically, whoa. third eye is like. Uh... No, no, search it up. The pineal gland. That's what they call your third eye. They say it's your pineal gland. In ancient Egyptian pictures and shit, it looked like literally like it's the sh like the shape of an eye. Yeah, the pineal gland is a small P-shaped gland in the brain. Its function isn't fully understood. Researchers do know that it produces and regulates some hormones, including melatonin. Melatonin is the best known for the role it plays in regulating sleep patterns. Sleep patterns are also oh man, I'm spitting all over the place. Sleep Hard patterns are sleep also somewhere. called the circadian rhythms. Yeah, I know what that is. Okay, this is trippy. What the fuck? So this... Oh, circadian rhythm. Sometimes, like, if you need a little boost to switch your circadian rhythm, I would take the true niagen pills, the NAD boosters. Yeah. It, apparently, like, if you take those every time you wake up... You're telling me about it, that. You can reset your circadian rhythm with those, kind of. Because then it gives your cells a boost of energy, and it kind of, like, programs your cells. So, like, you're, you'll start waking up at that time naturally. Like with a boost There's a of supplement energy. for this? NAD It's boosters? not, no, no. It's not a supplement for it. It just, it, you can use it for that. It's just like another, you know what it's I mean? It's called NAD boosters. No, true niagen. True niagen. Yeah, because I remember you were talking about that the first I time. I love that shit. Yeah, no, that's a off. supplement I take on and off. True niagen. Usually when you buy a bottle, it has like 30 pills. You'll finish that bill, bottle, but don't, don't take it for like another couple week, week or two, oh, maybe a couple weeks. Because eh? you want, yeah, it's like 60, 55, 60 bucks. And then you want to take a break because you want to uh, cycle, cycle on and off this of it. This 150 bucks right here. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at here. Oh, it's probably two bottles together. <laughs> two or three. Why is it? It's 90 capsules. Oh, that's why. It has 90 in them. Damn, that's still expensive, huh? It's expensive, isn't it? Uh, and it's... True niagen? True niagen is basically nicotinamine ri riboside, which is basically a vitamin B3. Yeah, are you still supplementing this? Uh, no, I haven't supplemented in like a month or two, two months. True uh, niagen. This is on and off. No matter what, I'm buying a bottle of this at least like two, three times a year. So something like this would help your uh, circadian rhythm? How cellular health this fuels your cells yeah because at the very base of it you go oh i'm eating carbs protein fats like no at the very very the lowest level it's cellular feel you're feel, getting fueled by your cells yeah and then this fuels your cells i don't know if it's atp or so would you would you like recommend this supplement to like any people that have trouble waking up they're not a morning person they're trying to switch uh uh, they want to start getting up earlier. Uh, they just want extra energy. Oh, even this, uh, if you, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go drink tonight. I'll take a pill before I go start drinking. And then I'll even take one when I get back or in the morning. And, like, it'll help you for your liver and stuff, too. And, like, the drinking is good for Because uh, alcohol hits, takes a hit on your fucking NAD and stuff. Yeah. So then this is, like, another good thing for it. <laughs> Anytime you're going to put extra stress on your body or have, it's good to take this as well. So it's not one of those supplements where you take it regularly for a day? It's kind of like... No, you can. You can? Yeah. Like, wait, what do you mean? Like, just for one day? Like, because the way you kind of explained it, it's like, okay, like, you take, you take it once. Usually when you buy a bottle, you bought that bottle, and you're going to pop it. The, all the studies they've done on it, you need to pop it, like, every day every for day? a couple of days at least. For a couple of days? For, to get the effect of it, yeah. But for me, I'd pop that pill once, and i feel it. But I, I feel like that with everything. Yeah. But say you get... Say, say you, like, stop taking this NAD or whatever, true niagen shit. Um, Does it affect? Will it like reverse Wait, the effects? I don't know. Maybe after a couple months, yeah. Because like now I kind of feel like it's been like maybe two months and I feel like I, I want it again. Yeah. Because uh, mushrooms, so like mushroom supplements I take on and off, like cordyceps, lion's means, that 100% does that. Yeah. You'd be taking it, taking it, taking it. As soon as you get off, 
after a period of time, that shit comes wet, yeah. wears off. Yeah. You need to, excuse me, you need to get back on it. Yeah, I, uh, I've noticed that with cordyceps. And yeah. I haven't actually... Um, I haven't taken it a month or two either. I haven't taken it a month or I, two I, I was taking it so consistently for so long, and I would only take small breaks. Right now, it's I'm becoming, my biggest break. It's becoming so much more mainstream now, though. That, yeah, that, it's that, so that, mainstream it's now. It's so mainstream now. I noticed more and more since, like, Paul Stamets came on Joe Rogan, the mushroom scene just been going up and up and up and up. Mushrooms in general is going up and up and yeah. up and up, man. They're underrated. Mushrooms yeah. are fucking crazy, yo. They're underrated, man. Like, even just, like, the... Uh, the gourmet ones, even ju you just eat like oyster mushrooms, sataki mushrooms, and shit, they have so many health benefits for you, you know what I mean? The thought of like, even like how cordyceps are made and like how it's like, like how the fuck do you even discover that, you know what I mean? I think there's this town in Japan uh, and the, uh, the, they, they, ru they run off shiitake farming, so all the farmers get to keep all the scraps and shitty mushrooms and shit, the ones that aren't good enough for sale, yeah. and that town had like no cancer or something, some shit like that. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? And then they're directly correlating it to the shiitake mushrooms. That like all these shiitake mushrooms. Are I'm not even talking about those kind of mushrooms. I'm talking about every like mushrooms in general, even like fucking psychedelic ones and yeah. shit like that. Like everything's becoming so like mainstream. Like, well, because yeah, like Health Canada and stuff is looking at uh, psilocybin and stuff. So it's gonna be in the net within the next couple of years, not even like less than five years, we're gonna see psilocybin uh, uh, medically legal. Yeah. Wait, isn't it already like kind of there? It's for research, R and D, research and stuff. Oh, it's, okay. There's a bunch of like legal companies doing research into it. They're still trying to finalize and like. Usually, when in the pharma school industry, they always want to um, isolate a compound, like the main active compound, and then that's what's going to become the pharmaceutical. And they're going to use that. Yeah. And stuff like that. No, because I've, I've I've heard of people with like shit like depression and like suicidal thoughts oh hell yeah like so yeah shrooms kind of changed my perception on like the i was always fucking depressed and shit like that like oh i'm just fucked in the head but so now <laughs> i just think like the shrooms it kind of it gives you a reality check it kind of sets you back like even on those like let's just say like a day you might easily cry or might easily like just let go of things and like if that day you did shrooms, you'll hold yourself together more and you'll actually be able to realize more and like look back and like, whoa, what the fuck? And like, you just, it brings you, it brings a, a different perception change, which I feel like so a huge many people change. need. Because when I've you're depressed and when you're in that, yo, you don't know nothing else. Like you could, someone could be like, yo, I promise it's going to get better. Yo, you do not see it getting better. Like yeah. no matter what, like yeah. you're like, this shit ain't getting better, dog. Like, this that but like something like just a little bit of microdose of shrooms change everything you'll get this person suicidal thoughts depression everything and now they just look at shit differently just that little twist little change boom changes everything like whoa yeah i didn't look at, i didn't think about it like that whoa what the <laughs> fuck like you might even start thinking about someone else's perception like oh wow i didn't think like oh the reason that person talks or acts like like that to me is because they went through or there's an like yeah. oh, shit gets so deep with the mushrooms man oh like, definitely dude i i felt the same way too man like when i Last year, when I first started this podcast, I would, that's when I was like doing this whole like mushroom, like I was like, microdosing like crazy. Experimenting, right? Experimenting with microdose, right? Because I had a bunch. I think I forgot who it was that hooked it up. Maybe you, maybe some. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> I was getting uh, like people were giving me shrooms and yeah, shit, yeah. right? So I'm like, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna obviously get to just fucking take it, right? So yeah, like now, like like when I talk to people and I like when I hear people's emotions and like. Even, even like just looking at somebody's facial expression like i can tell like damn like they're going through some shit yeah 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 like you could like you know like you see past what you see like at face value yeah, yeah. you see like so much deeper into them you know what i mean yeah. it's fucking it was crazy at one point i thought i was i, I thought i was going crazy but like you know because i thought like holy shit like i could read people you know what i mean yeah. like it makes you really like look at shit super differently yeah. but like at the same time in like a positive way you know what yeah I mean? in a positive way yeah a lot of people just live like as a shell man they have no like depth to them like who are you like what are you about like why are you here man what are you trying to do before you die man yeah some people are like you're like i'm just going to school i'm going to work i'm going to barney on friday man. like what the fuck like yo that's it what there's that yeah there's so you're definitely... gonna do that till the last days dog <laughs> there's definitely a difference between like living and just existing no, you know what i mean most people huge. just exist no man you know like people like they go to work they go home sleep Fuck that. weekends they drink and mm. it's just like a fucking cycle 
right? Can't do that, man. And then by the time they're like 30, that's going back to like, to like when, you know, like to the whole idea of like people looking at starting goals too late, like, you know, like that's yeah. why they think it's too late because they've been in that rhythm for so long. It's like, oh shit, I've just been, I'm just so deep into this rabbit hole that like, it's way too late to yeah. start something new, you know what I mean? Oh, it's never, never, never too late, man. Yeah, man. Because, like, I, uh, like... Uh, didn't we just see, like, there's a video of some chick. She's, like, an uh, old grandma. She's, like, 90-something years old. She ran her first, like, marathon or, or like, ra uh, race or something. Yeah, and it was all over the news. And it's, like, yo, it's never too late, you know? Yeah. She's seen her, you know, she's, like, I want to do this is before. It, is it Joe? Uh, is it? No, there's this other lady. I think she's, like, based out of... So, like, that'd be crazy if we could No, she just did... Well, that lady just did it once. But there's this lady named... That lives it. She lives it. Fit, uh, Joanne or... She's from, from, like, somewhere in Whistler or some shit like that. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. This lady's now. crazy. Like, I showed my mom this because, like, I wanted... I was trying to get my mom on this. Um, train with Joanne. Joanne McDonald. Look at this. She's yeah. a... She's a public figure in health and shit. Look at this. Look at it. Lifting big tires and stuff. She's buddy. She looks like she's like she's jacked, but like you could. Her, what? Search, search this lady up. Her name is Train with Joanne. This girl, this lady is like a, this girl's crazy, yo. She's a nut. Whoa, crazy. She, she's got like white hair. You, she definitely does not look like she's definitely lived her years, but like she moves like she's young. You know what I mean? She's young as shit. You never heard of this lady? No, I've seen her. I've seen her on IG. No, uh, she probably, she's probably dabbled with some shrooms and shit. <laughs> I don't know. Where, where, what were we talking about here? Shrooms? Old people. Old people, shrooms. I don't know how the fuck. Imagine getting your parents on shrooms and shit. I've. I've tried. Oh yeah, my fucking grandpa is fucking yeah, dying. Yeah. He's passed. He's about to. He's on his deathbed and shit. So I went to his fucking his house and I fucking I took some microdose shrooms. Yeah, I, I remember seeing. Yeah, I made a video and shit. And he's like, he just like he just like remini rem reminiscing about his old times and this that and like. Was he happy? Like you see, man. He's no, like the, the, I feel like I should have gave him a bigger dose, it fucked him up more or something. <laughs> no, there was I remember like because when I was trying to give it to him, my grandma's like, "What is this?" And I'm like, oh, this is so he can, he can, he can talk to God. Or <laughs> I forgot what I said. I'm like, these are so he can talk to God, y'all. Yeah. And then I forgot she's out. I'm like, yo, why does it matter? I'm like, death is already here, you know? Like, the guy's already about to die soon in the near future. So why the fuck's it matter? And, the, you know, he, the guy did the shroomies and he was Did he pass away? Yeah, yeah, like, like weeks later, yeah. Weeks later? But I hey, was thinking about giving it to him again, but then he was in the hospital by that point. And then, like, and, like, yeah, so I don't know. Maybe I should have given bigger dose. I don't know, but that's the way she went, and I feel like it was something. Yeah. It was something. I don't know. I dude, I was maybe if I didn't give it, would it have been something? I don't know. I've thought about giving my mom shrooms before, but just sprinkling it in and mm -hmm. shit. I remember my mom found my the all the like the fucking shrooms. Like she found, she found the shrooms and she found like a bunch of capsules. <laughs> it was probably a thousand capsules. She probably thought I was trapping. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fucking threw it away, bro. I was choked. Oh, yeah, I was choked. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't know she threw it away, but then it wasn't in the spot where I put it. You know what I mean, right? And I didn't change the spot. Who is this? I don't know. We're just so woke right now. We're just like. We're woke as fuck. Bro. Yeah. Did, did the shrooms hit you? I know. I actually. I felt that same feeling the whole time. That the heady shot. Maybe I should move around or something. I feel it. I, I feel the heady. What's I'm up, Jer? Are you stressing? What are you stressing? Writing for the memory card was not completed, so I won't be submitting. Oh, are you still rolling? For that one. But is his, his mic's not connected to that one, though, right? I don't know. I'm on my mic. Should we just pause for a second? Technical difficulties. Yeah, yeah, let him know. Cause that, actually, no, that's my mic. We got some technical difficulties here. Um, we got Jer in the back. He's got it figured out here. Um, you good? Let's see what else we're gonna talk about here. Fuck, thank God for a new fucking phone. Holy shit, I was like charging my phone three times an hour, bro. I swear to God. It is pissing. 
I was stressed the fuck out. How long have you been going for so far? A couple hours? Actually? Damn. Damn. Yo, my my reels are this reel is still popping off. Holy shit! I'm almost I'm almost at five thousand views at this at this reel. Which one? This one where I'm throwing up gang signs and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I look fucking shredded and shit. That was a weird time, man. I remember I didn't work out during those times, those gym days. Yeah, the whole time. The, yeah, when I was when I was out out there, I never worked out. I don't think. Yeah, I barely worked out. There was like, I think a two year window where I didn't work out. Damn. And All right, then, we we went talked about this before. That was uh, that was when you fell off for a bit. That was you when came, I fell bounced off. Bounced back, right? Bounced back harder than ever. No, because then that that was the time when I was like, yo, fuck this fitness shit. You know what I mean? Blah blah blah. Because then like, when I was working at Fitness World and shit, I thought I wasted so much time. This, this, and that. I was like. Like, no, I you're never was, wasting time. If yeah, you're exactly. I, 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 it was just that that little grudge in me, you know, yeah, like yeah. fuck, like fuck this shit. You know, it's like my little like mental revenge that, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna be in the shittiest, <laughs> in the <laughs> shittiest form of myself. I remember like during gym times, I was eating like DQ, like what what, what else was around there? DQ, pho, the Thai food. I didn't have sushi. I had no excuse to like not go to the gym because if I really wanted to, I could have just gone to the. There was a gym right there. Down the block in the corner there. No, not that I can remember, but I remember Olymp there's people Olymp that would come. Olympia who, or whatever. They went to the gym and they'd be like, oh, I'm going to the gym. Yeah, something. and then even the manager at West Coast Iron, he used to come to gym. I didn't know about that. Yeah. And like, he's like Dallas or some shit like that. That's and then awesome. he's like, yo, come through. Well, I'll hook you up. I'm like, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. I used to, <laughs> I used to do this. I used to do that. <laughs> type of shit. He's like, oh, what? what? Why'd you stop? I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. It's a waste, waste of time. This, this, and that. Fuck. <laughs> it was weird yeah but it wasn't a waste of time now that I look back at it it was like I learned a lot of shit you know what I mean yeah sometimes you gotta take a step back of like things that you love I don't know maybe you don't but maybe it's just me it's all lessons man cause then I came back and I was like fucking gonna get shredded B and I came <laughs> back, back and it. I looked like a fucking nut right <laughs> Don's photo who the fuck is this what'd you send me JR Oh, straight up. Okay, so we're, we're rolling again. Um, <laughs> I just went off there for like two minutes. <laughs> we're rolling. Um, let's get back on track here. What do we got here? Plants and animals. Fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Cold water exposure. Holy shit, I haven't ice bathed in so long. You're the ice bath guy. I take, like, I'll take a, no matter what, every morning at the end of my shower, I'll blast it on cold Yeah. for a bit. You want to always make sure you get your head in your face because you want to activate the mammalian dive reflex. The and then you want to kind of fight that because you're just breathing through it. Yeah. And then, I don't know, man. I think they, the, uh, if you do a total of 11 minutes a week or more in total, so you can even do like a little bit over a minute. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then that's when you start seeing the benefits. 11 minutes or more a week. Straight up. Yeah. I felt I felt the benefits right away, man. I felt fucking invincible, bro. Because when you're in there after like three minutes, two minutes, three minutes, and you're you not really to thinking about the present, the past, or the past or the future. You're just thinking about right now. Now, just breathe in, breathe out. Breathe yeah. in, breathe out. Breathe yeah. in, breathe. Oh man, it's and that's so why it's so. I, I, that's why it's like it's not beneficial with to create. Like I mean, like with the recovery, it's somewhat beneficial. But so no, the the two ways, uh, cold. It can, so if you shiver, that's good for your metabolism and your uh, fat tissue, uh, tra like uh, fat tissue, your, br your brown adipose tissue to white adipose, or br br like the way it burns it or uses it. But is technically, is if, more you're, if you're shiver shivering. shivering, that's movement. So you're, yeah. that just burns On calories. a cellular level, it does something. Oh, does it? But then if you don't shiver and you fight it, you're building a mental resilience. Yeah. So it's like two different things you can kind of fuck with. Yeah. And I found it more for like mental. Like mentally, I felt like, dude, 
during that whole phase of it's me the no what, immune system and mental biggest things yeah you don't want to be sick and shit fucking cold shower every day Straight up. every fucking day I haven't done it. In I'm a not minute. saying your entire 20 minute shower stand in there and freeze your ass off. Like, <laughs> that's fucked. That's every extreme. like at that last minute or two, full fucking cold, freezing. And don't think I'm gonna shiver my fucking sex organs off in my body. Yeah. Like if you once you get that cold, and as soon as you get out of the cold, your body's already producing all this heat, and within a couple of minutes, you're gonna be fucking so warm. So it's like I remember like when I came out of a. The ice bath, like I think this was my record. I think it was like close to six minutes. Damn. I felt my balls and like <laughs> I didn't have any balls, bro. Like, it was damn. fucked. I was that's tripping out. Feeling. I was like, what the fuck? You know? Cause that's like, a creepy feeling. It was a weird feeling, dude. Like that. It felt like nothing was there. It felt like nothing was there. I had no <laughs> dog. It was weird. Did you feel that, JR? Bro, do you feel your balls after you ice bath? Yeah, dude. You they don't exist, right? <laughs> Yeah. I got scared. I was like, whoa, I'm like trying to like, you know, like I'm like, whoa. Make sure they work, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? You know what I mean? Like, fuck. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. But like, the thing is like, with like ice baths, you don't really want to do it right after a workout because you still need inflammation to re recover, technically. Right? Your body goes through a process, yeah. So you, you want to do it like a day after, 12, even like a few hours after training. Some people do it after, like Floyd Mayweather and shit like that. Okay, that, that's, that's a little di different. I'm talking about like muscle hy hypertrophy. Okay, okay. Right? Because I, I, used, I used to do it for track and field. Actually, I, I'm like talking like I used to do it like all the time in track and field. I've only done it like twice. Yeah. In track and field, we're like, we're out in the field. We're doing our thing. It was during the summertime too. And then we jump in the ice bath, in the, the tub filled with ice and water. Because and, then you could go back to training hard again. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It speeds up the recovery. Uh, there's recently some studies done. If you cool your blood while you're working out, you can increase your performance. And then what these guys were using was they're holding on to these. It can't be too cold because if it's too cold, your blood vessels constrict. But if it's just cool, what some people fuck around with is cold water bottles. And then they do use your hands because the skin's so thick there, uh, thin there. And then it slowly, slowly keeps cooling your blood as your heart pumps. And then, yeah, it'll help you increase performance. That's pretty cool. Keeping your blood cool. Yeah. Cooler. What, what, it, what kind of like, performance though? Like endurance, I'm guessing? I don't know. Let's search it up. All right. Yeah, you want I always deep. remember random shit, but we got to get... Do you want to get in depth? We got to search it up. We got to dig deep. Yeah, we got to dig deep, man. <laughs> Wait, what was I just talking about? <laughs> you know, my, my so, mind's gone. I'm, a million things are going in my head. Fucking... Um, shit. Do you got to listen to the footage? <laughs> Do you know who we're talking about Wait. here, JR? Andrew. I'm like, on my own right now, because I know I'm going to listen to all this later on. You, got, you guys got to see JR right now. He's rocking the pants down low, like, like you know. Joe load out. Like, early 2000s and shit. What are you doing there, bro? What are you doing? Shrooms hit you differently. <coughs> It's fucking crazy how it's almost 2022. That's fucking trippy. Yeah, it doesn't even matter, right? Single. Snow's looking nice. Huh? Yesterday when we were driving around after we ran that potty, we were driving around and like the, the truffle, the psychedelic truffle hit me. I'm like, whoa, it's so fucking nice outside. This? Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, our tolerance for uh, psilocybin or whatever. It was by Stanford professors. If you're looking to ramp up your workouts this summer by 300%, ditch the cold washcloth on your neck. Instead, splash cold water on your face or your hands and your feet, according to Stanford biologists H. Craig Heller and Dennis Graham. Like During? Uh, ditch, ditch the cold. Like keep, try to keep your blood cool while you're performing. Apparently, we have a special network of veins called AVAs. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Let's try to pronounce it. <laughs> Go for it. Art, arteriovenous, arteriovenous anas, anastomosis, anastomosis. Arteriovenous, arteriovenous, venus. <laughs> Let me try this. 
Arterial, vet, arterial venous anastomosis. Yeah. Whatever. You said that. <coughs> Which exclusively manage temperature. These networks are in three locations, only your hands, your feet, and your face, which allow for the weakening of heat from your body for rapid cooling. The reason why most of us have to take breaks when we exercise because our muscles overheat. Hyperthermia. Muscle hyperthermia is what makes us tired. Rapid cooling, it seems, can extend workouts far beyond what we would have ever guessed. In fact, Stanford scientists have spent the last 20 years developing a cooling glove for just this purpose. Whoa, that's some fucking the article staff and researchers cooling gloves with better, better than steroids. That's a strong statement, dog. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. But anyways, let's keep reading. In the article, Stanford researchers cooling glove better than steroids. The author describes an experiment using a prototype glove on a guy in a gym. So according to this guy, drop the trend and grab these gloves. Um, <laughs> because the glove isn't on the market yet. Stanford scientist Andrew Huberman from the Huberman Lab podcast whittles it down to a couple of useful hacks for us. <clears throat> Splash cool but not ice cold. Water on your face between reps. Or pass a bag of frozen peas or berries from one hand to the next repeatedly for the, a few passes, holding the bag for only 10 to 30 seconds in each hand. As cooling the skin too much will cause vessel to constrict, yeah. uh, vessels to constrict which inhibits the thermal flow. Mm -hmm. If you have access to room temperature water, submerging your feet and hands into cool water for 10 to 30 seconds a few times will increase your endurance. Yeah. We should run these um, tests. tests ourselves, yeah? yeah it's, it's doable. Although I, ha I have no interest in doing a 600 pull-ups, I'm interested in seeing how I might do it on a hike this summer in the California desert. It may be worth bringing an insulated cold pack just to see how it works. This is pretty interesting, man. So it's like, almost like you're your own, you're just the anti, you're the cooling your blood down. So basically like... So it can perform higher. That's like your car. Yeah. There's coolant, there's the radiator, all this shit, keeping everything at that good optimum temperature to keep it performing at its best. So, so in, in, in layman's term, like, say I'm doing a bench press and I fatigue, I hit, yeah, I, I fatigue, I go to failure, Start right? cooling, cooling. Yeah, I, I go to the washing room to wash my hands with cold water or I, I, I go into the... It can't be too cold. Yeah, or I could get, to, I, we have a bag of like berries. I could just toss it around in my yeah, hand yeah. and then go back into. That'd be a pretty interesting one, man. That's a strong fucking statement, though, man. Strong Better one. than steroids? I believe it. <laughs> you believe it? We I gotta, believe it. We gotta, I gotta try that out. Because then, they already do that in like the UFC and boxing, technically, you know, with the ice bags and shit like that, with the cooling thing, right? They, but isn't that for something else? That's, that's more for like. Yeah. They use ice. For the swelling, put the swelling down. Yeah. But if, what if they had like a cooling agent in the gloves and shit or? That'd be next level. <clears throat> That's not some next level shit. Everyone should incorporate cold exposure into your routine. It's very doable, very easy. All you need is a shower, bath, whatever the fuck. If you want to take it extreme, you can just get a, you can just go on Craigslist and get a, what do you call it? That's if you're really trying to do it. <laughs> yeah, if you're really trying to do it, you can get a deep freezer, right? And then like plaster up the bottom, right? You gotta get a water. Oh, that's what you do. You plaster it at the bottom. I think so. Or he, fuck, I forgot what he did. So he, it's waterproof. So like it doesn't leak through and shit. Uh. Just to make, just like yeah, extra security, uh. right? Because they sell these. Apparently they sell these ice bath things for so expensive, like a couple bands. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. Yeah. Thirty-five hundred dollars. More than that, tens of thousands of dollars. But it, it hits like a certain temperature. But it, fuck, man, the cold. Mm -hmm. if, <clears throat> I feel your body just recognizes cold as cold. Right? Dude, it doesn't recognize, yeah. necessarily recognize as it as negative six, negative seven, negative. No, no. But you. It's just the studies at the same are time, done. You still gotta have it at a certain temperature. Yeah, for it to, to be effective, get the effects, right? Because yeah. like you can't just be in a tub that's five, six degrees and say that's cold. No. Right. It has to at least hit the minimum of a minus. Whatever. Yeah. I've had, I've been in there where it, it's like a whole block. The whole top is just like. Yeah, you, you're smashed through, right? Yeah, I I was just I was just on. Uh, my Instagram and there's this uh, businessman I follow. He's he's actually from here, um, Bob Maggot. He gets his kids to do it, and his kids Damn. are like elementary school, and they do it no problem. Yeah, that's so, good. Yeah, they, they, their, their kids are like, yeah, this isn't even cold. Like this is whatever. It's chill. And then they have a hot tub right there. They'll jump into the hot tub right after too. Wow. 
That's like, nice. damn, yo. That's pretty fucking... That was a different stuff. It was nice. This is a different stuff. Hmm. You gotta try it. You gotta try it, man. I, I, wanna, yeah. I wanna try it, the, the other one, too. Cryotherapy? Yeah, yeah, I wanna try cryo, too. But apparently, cold water immersion is the best for if you're trying to do cold exposure. Nothing beats cold, cold water. Cold water definitely hits fucking differently, it's bro. The one, it's the main one. Versus, like, if you were to go outside in negative 12. Because you can, you can go in an ice bath that's what? 30 degrees, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Yeah. But then if you're going in a Cairo, it's a negative 200. I think that. it's even negative 400. Yeah, air chilled, yeah. <coughs> but then when when you hit it that cold, apparently, like, apparently it, it hits different. It's like, it's almost like, a, not, not like a hot, kind of like a hot feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's your body uh, kicking in. It's like, get, like frostbite mode and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit like that. People come out of there with icicles on their face and shit. Yeah, straight up. I remember Michael Jackson or some shit. He wanted to freeze himself. I don't remember this, damn. I think it, I think it was Michael Jackson. Search <laughs> up Walt Disney. Is he frozen right now? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Search <laughs> up right now, Walt Disney. Is he? I think he's he, is he frozen? Like, is Walt Disney frozen? <laughs> this is so random. Is Walt Disney's body frozen? <laughs> is <laughs> this it? This is so random. Is it? He saved it for the future, right? Died from complications of lung cancer, which is undergone surgery. Did he freeze his body for the future? That's what I'm trying to look for here. Or did someone else do it? Body suspended in frozen state and buried deep. Yeah, he's frozen. He is, right? Deep beneath the Pirates of the... Wait, no, this is from a movie. <laughs> I'm reading fucking Pirates of the Caribbean. Has denied that he is... No, yeah, Disney's daughter has denied that he's cryogenetically frozen. So I guess he's not... Yeah, because I, I don't know where I read that, that someone, <laughs> they froze themselves so that later in the future that like when mm, the medical has advancements, medical field has advancements that they could bring them back to life. Then. I remember Michael jo Jackson was trying to do that or some shit. Wow. Freeze himself and then come back to life later. Damn. That's some shit. That'd be some crazy shit. Yeah, I don't know if I want Imagine like that. right before, like say you have It's like, different, like... For, to bring you back like that versus like a clone, right? Like if they took your skin cell, yeah. made you into a baby and grew you up again, but that's not really you. It just looks like you. No. But if it's a actually froze me, then unfroze me, that's pretty In crazy. A way, that'd be fucking crazy. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Like imagine like waking up post pandemic and like you're like, whoa, what the fuck's going on here, yeah, right? You're all like, you know, I was fucked. I think you, I'm pretty sure that you can do that, isn't it? I don't, I don't know, man. There's some trippy shit, bro. But yeah, you guys should try cold water exposure. It's actually like, it takes you somewhere like mentally, like where you've never been before. I've said this a lot about a lot of things, man. I said this about shrooms. I said this about this, but yo. It's all different. You can't say like, this is like that. This is like, it's all different. Yeah. It's all different. Because I remember like thinking the whole time I'm in that ice bath, like, ain't nobody fucking doing what I'm doing right now, blah, 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 this, this, and that. <laughs> I think that's part of it, just pumping yourself up, maybe, I don't know. But the whole, the whole um, point of, is to just try to stay, like, because I remember, like, I started getting pumped in there, and Eric's like, yo, chill, 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 you're not supposed to be doing that, you don't want your heart rate going up, yeah, this, yeah. this, and that, you, like, the whole point is to, like, be zened out, I'm like, all right, fuck, right. Well, I don't know, man, there's some trippy shit, you know? Biohacking and shit, fucking stem cells and shit, would you ever try stem cells? Yeah, I'd try them. Huh? I'd try them. Go to Panama and shit. Stem cells, basically, they just, like, they can turn into any cell inside your body. They just, <laughs> whatever you need and shit. Yeah. They can, like, switch, switch forms and shit. Is that legal now? Uh, I know they're doing certain kinds in the States. The ones in uh, third world countries, they can, like, pump you full of more and different kinds and shit. Yeah. The third world country ones are probably the better ones, I think, some, for, in some, some cases. In Panama? I think shit like that too, yeah. <coughs> That's a well-known one there. Why, 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 what's up with like third world countries and having trippy shit like that though? I guess because they, they... The cost and everything. Cost, and like, right? I don't know. It's just different. And their, their laws are less, laws are more lax. Yeah. Not like regulating the shit out of them, you know? Yeah. yeah That's true. Know. Fuck. What else do we got here? Plants and animals. <laughs> Exercise. Shit like that. Dude, I can't lie, man. The fucking shrooms hit me. I don't know if I got hit, man. I feel like I need to get more fucked up. You want to take a swig of Hennessy? Pass it. What? 
What you saying, JR? Oh, yeah. That's us, baby. Sunset HQ, baby. Woo! What's he doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's just looking at... <laughs> He's looking at pictures around He's the world. He's looking at pictures and shit. I'm like, yeah. Fuck. Fuck this podcast doing, man. What are you know. guys doing, man? You guys watching us just chilling? January 22nd. We're having a party in this bitch. We're maxing out capacity here. We're taking over the fucking parking lot. Make sure you guys go onto our Sunset HQ Instagram page. Hit that link, RSVP, because you're not gonna, you don't want to miss out on this shit. This is gonna be lit. I'm telling you guys. I don't know about the Hennessy and Jooms, but <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have any of that shit. No, it's not gonna be that lit. <laughs> it's not gonna be that lit, but you know, <laughs> the vibes will be fucking dope. Um, anything else? I don't know. Everyone needs to come to Sunset HQ. Anything else before we close it? We need everyone to come to Sunset HQ. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> you motherfuckers. You, you guys want to, you guys all watching the stories, like looking on the fucking page and shit. I see you guys creeping, you motherfuckers. Just come, come by. We're not fucking scary people. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you open, open arms. I'll give you a hug. We're not going to pitch you for two hours. Tell them the masked up guy <laughs> said he'll give me a hug. You know what I mean? You'll get that hug, you motherfuckers. Like, God damn it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Throwing garbage on this guy's computer. What the fuck? But yeah, I don't know. Turn up, man. January 22nd. Um... We're having a, I don't even know when this thing's gonna be released, but January 22nd, it, if this isn't out yet, make sure you RSVP. Um, follow us, Diggin' Deep 420, Sunset HQBC, Arnie Vic, follow our boy Rene Media, the craziest fucking photographer in the motherfucking game, baby. And uh, what else? I don't know, this is the last day of 2021, ending it out with a bang, with this little mini fucking pod. I don't know what else. Yo, if you guys got fucking things that you want to do next year, make sure you guys approach it at 120,000%, man. And make sure you guys approach it with urgency, you know? A lot of you motherfuckers are setting these goals like, oh yeah, like I want to do this, I want to do that. But you, you guys aren't making it urgent enough. You guys got to make it urgent like you have a gun to your fucking head. You know what I mean? You got to approach everything like you have a gun to your fucking head. Because if you don't, that shit's just going to slow you down. You're going to procrastinate. You're going to wait till next year. And you don't want that goal to start in 2023, 2024, 2025. You want that shit to start now. Start and if, tomorrow. if you guys don't have any fucking motivational people around you, people that pump you up, fucking come hang out with us, man. I'm fucking, we uplift our people. We fucking pick our people up. We're trying to fucking put our people in the fuck on the moon. You know what I mean? Like, this shit's deeper than anything, man. Like, fuck. I'm fucking <laughs> on fucking a lot of things right now. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Geek, shorty. I guess to close it off, we're fucking back, baby. Digging deep. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button. Um, like our shit. Don't like our shit. No, <laughs> I'm definitely not doing that. Uh, leave a comment, negative or positive. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Leave whatever you want. Hate on us. Love us. I don't care. If you leave a negative comment, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave no negativity on the page, you bitches. I'm serious. Don't leave no negative comments. Leave a, God damn it. <laughs> leave, leave, leave us some DMs. Say what's up to us. Don't hesitate. You know, you see us on Instagram. You see us, you know what I mean, on social media. Say what's up. We're fucking totally cool with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I might not answer in, within 24 hours, but I'll answer eventually. You know, come catch a vibe. Yeah, come catch a vibe, you know? Shit's oh. locked up right now, but eventually when we're unlocked, which is soon, we're going to be pop optimistic here. Yeah. Come by, pop by. You know, we, we don't let no laws stop us. <laughs> For now. <laughs> 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 All Any closing remarks, JR? Obviously not, because you're behind the camera. All right, uh, that's it. Happy New Year's. We'll be back. We're, we'll see you guys in 2022. Hopefully you learned something from the podcast and you utilize it in your life. Kundalini, chakras and shit. I don't know if we talked about that. I don't know what the fuck we talked about. We talked about some random shit, but uh, yeah. Um, have a good day, people. Love y'all. Peace. Uh, easy. <laughs> 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 Did I get it? <laughs> yeah.